Alright. So what do we have to do exactly? Investigate investigate? Investigate Elsa's death and find out more about the drowned woman in the vision. Okay. We need to examine the maid's body in the cellar. To find out who killed her. To be sure she was murdered before we start pointing fingers. Alright. Angus will have the key. Unless we can find another way in. Um I guess I suppose we should talk to Angus, see if he'll give us the key. It's not likely that he will. But we'll give it a shot. Oh, what's that? Rory's not one for cleaning up after himself. Rory. Oh, Rory's the gardener? Oh, yeah, that's disgusting. Of course, he's not going to clean himself. Eating bloody fish out of the can with his fingers and licking his finger. Oh, what's that? I think I might have an idea how to get into the cellar, but I'm not sure you'll like it. If it involves this filthy dumbwaiter, don't even think about it. <laughs> not ladylike, you promised to help. I can't do this alone. Um, I mean, I don't want to treat her like, you know, like a woman. I'll just keep her to her promise. You promised to help, yeah. You said you'd help me, so help me. On my terms. Your terms. Um, is it not ladylike? True, that wouldn't be very ladylike. You might want to consider what I do for a living before trying to taunt me this cheaply. Alright, I can't do this alone. Just help me. I can't fit in there and I see no other way into the cellar. Hmm. You're asking me to put a lot of trust in you, given the circumstances. Mm. You never tell someone I'm not crazy. You usually just say, trust me. You can trust me. And I will do my very best to learn to trust you. Mm. All right, then. Clothes can be washed. Lovely. Drop her. There you go. Pull me back up. What? I need something to open the doors from the inside once I'm down there. Uh, I still need something to open the doors, not crawling in there for the enjoyment of it. You need something to open the doors. I mean... What can I open the doors with? Oh, this thing? This should do it. Okay. There you go. We need to examine... Yeah, okay. To be sure. Just go down. Just go down. Take this knife with you. That will open the door. Going down. Good luck. See you in a minute. Uh, Doctor Farber. Oh. Is everything all right? Oh no. She's fine, right? Leah! Uh-oh. Oh, if anything's happened to her. Oof. You needn't worry about me. I've been to stranger places than this castle. Follow me. Nice, nice. What? I'm following you. Where are you going? Okay, follow me then. Alright, where's the body? Here we go. Her neck's been broken, and with some considerable force, it seems. Her necklace looks like gold, albeit a plain design. 
And it's missing any form of pendant. Still, well beyond a maid's salary. It... Oh, rip. Your oh, stag is here, from? my little doe. Little doe? Not exactly. Uh oh, that's Eddie's her. voice. Eddie and her had something going on? The missing pendant. He threw it into the Bloodfield Basin. So he... Mr. Gordon? Speak to me, please. How close? He would the seam open. Whoa. All here, sir. All down in the dark. Well, something's coming. The attic, sir. She's in the attic. What just happened? You look like you were in some kind of trance. Perhaps the lack of sleep is affecting me. Or the visions that you'd think me insane if I described them to you. You need to learn to trust me. I am on your side, remember? So you say. But I remember you locked my father up too. A tiger can't change its stripes. Uh, so... The pendant should be in here? Ugh, that's horrible. You're not the one with your hand in it. French. I don't speak French. I do. It says for Clara, forever yours. Who's Clara? <laughs> I don't know. Yet another relative, perhaps? We should ask someone who's been around here for longer. I think it's time we had a How chat. Did you know it was there? Had a chat to Eddie. I mean. If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. A hunch. Eddie gave this to her. We should ask him to his face just what his relationship was with her. This isn't another ghost story, is it? It is. Look, you wouldn't understand. I can't... What I do understand is that we cannot accuse a man of murder without proof. She's right. She's right. We need some proof. The scene really did rip when she tried to get away from him. Or we could just, like, have a fight with Eddie and, until he speaks. Seem to be a house full of carnivals. All right. I suppose we can leave now. We've got the pendant. We just need to talk to Eddie. Or we need to talk to someone who knows who Clara is. Find out who Clara is. Question is, where is everyone? But they're all sleeping. Uh, where is everyone? I don't think I have to go to their bedrooms. There must be someone awake somewhere. Mm. You know what? Maybe in that chill room. I can't imagine the dining room. Oh, they could be in that room underneath the dining room. But I feel like the chill room. I don't know the name of this room, but I feel like this is where they would chill. Ah, here we go. If you'd just like to wait out here, sir. I need to speak with Eddie. The young master and her ladyship are otherwise detained. Push Agnes away, I'm the owner, or concede. Hmm. Do we act demanding? We're not an idiot, we're not gonna get aggressive. Or do we just give up? Well, the problem is, I'm not the owner. Maybe we just concede? No, we don't give up. We're going to say I'm the owner. Hmm. 
Yeah, we're just gonna say I'm the owner. May I remind you, this is my house. May I remind you yeah. that it is not yours yet. Yeah, it's not mine. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I don't want to get aggressive. Let's just concede. Fair enough. Examine. There's no doubt about his loyalty, nor with whom it lies. Okay. We can have a chat to Eddie real quick. If Eddie really gave her that pendant, he might be her killer, and I might not be losing my mind. If Eddie really... Let's talk about Clara. Uh, Mr. McKinnon, who is Clara? The lady, Clara. Young Eddie's late mother. A box with some of her belongings are kept in the library, as Master Eddie feels himself more a Gordon than a Mallory. I guess we're going to the library. Let's go. Klutz, I have an addiction to DC Legends of Tomorrow. I knew I shouldn't have tried to catch up on the show. Yeah, it's good, right? All right, we got to go to the library. Already three episodes in on season three. Nice, nice. Almost there, mate. Almost caught up. And then if you haven't already, you can watch the crossover. That is if you don't if you're not going to watch the other shows first. All right, where is... There's a box behind the desk. Maybe it's that box? Zari is, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> mm. Oh, there it is. The belongings of Eddie's mother. Recognize that? The necklace. Is that? A young Eddie and his mother, Clara. Oh, his mother is Clara. Oh, wait, we already knew that. We already knew that. Uh, don't know how I feel about her. I love how mixed character evolved, though. Yeah. yeah. Mick can still be an interesting character while being a dumb character at the same time. I regret to inform you that your husband, Corporal Victor Mallory, number 874511, was killed in action with the enemy on the day of the 14th of September in Ypres. Your husband was involved in an advance against enemy lines. While he and his fellow soldiers fell, the action was successful, and you can take comfort in knowing his sacrifice saved many lives. Okay. It was not possible to get his remains away, and he was buried in a soldier's grave. Please accept the condolences of all the company. Poor Eddie lost Yours, his father. Captain Arthur Jones. Fourth Army. Uh, but Amaya is hot and badass. Still my favorite. My second favorite has to be White Canary. I effing hate Captain Cold for killing Amaya once. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough, dude. I like Captain Cold up to that point. Right. Thank you for your last letter. My heart soars with every word of yours I read. I touch the ink and imagine your fingers are just inches from mine. Aww. That we can almost touch. That I can almost feel the warmth of your skin once more. Young Edward grows more like his father each day. You'd be amazed how he shares your looks. I long for the day that this... Terrible war is ended and you return home to us so we can be a family once more. I shall write to you again soon. Know that until then you are always in our hearts. Your loving wife, Clara. That's the date. She was writing this when the death notice arrived. Oh, the poor woman. It's too bad Eddie didn't end up like his father. He's a bit of a... Cuckoo. Um, who is your favorite slash least? My least has to be Captain Cold and Adam. I don't know. I don't like the Adam much. Adam Adam is... He's not exactly like a badass character, but he's a necessary character. Like he's like the smart... Ner he's the nerd. He's the nerdy 
character for the group. But if I had to pick my favorite of the legends, uh, my favorite would probably be definitely Sarah. Definitely Sarah. And well, it's hard because all of the legends are 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 cool. It's either Sarah or Captain Cold. If I had to pick my least favorite, probably... Yeah, I, I hate to pick one for a least favorite. But... Probably... It's hard to pick. I'll have to come back to you on that one. Yo, what's up, Zaza? I, I don't know who my least favorite is. Hey, this dude. Yo, what's up, Hayden? They don't need him unless he has to shrink and repair. Jax has the repairing down. And Nate helps with the history. I mean, the Adam is just there for community relief at, the, at this point. No, he's... He, he's there for other reasons. He's smart. Like, Jax is only smart for the ship. And Nate is only smart for history. He is, like, generally smart about everything else. So if they ever need, like, some sort of gadget to create, then he's the one to look to. <clears throat> he's still necessary. He's, like, the general nerd. He's not... He doesn't have any, like, specified role on the ship. He's just like the person you go to if they need like a new gadget or they need some sort of like serum or cure or anything like that. Uh, let's see. I need to go back and talk to Eddie. Because we found the pendant that belonged to his mother and he gave it to the maid. There we go. I guess so, yeah, but they also lost an important science member, so Adam is going to have to take over. Shh, don't say any spoilers now. Hey, Clods, I beat FF14's Bafe story. Nice, congrats, dude. Welcome to Endgame. And yes, I heard about it because my friend spoiled. Yeah, don't, don't say it. Don't say it. But yeah. Shh. Actually, I think you already gave it away pretty much, but it's okay. Just don't say the name. <clears throat> you pretty much gave it away, <laughs> but it's okay. Just don't say it. Have you seen it? Yeah, I'm up to date. I've seen uh, everything. Still got to do Heavensward and Stormblood. Oh, you just finished the FF14 uh, original story. You haven't done uh, Heaven's Ward and Stormblood yet. Okay. I mean, Sarah's bi, so I mean, she can like men and women. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I mean, she did. She did date Oliver, so she was Oliver's uh, girl. Well, not girlfriend, not official girlfriend, but she was. She was sleeping with Oliver. You're hyped for it, though. Yeah, dude. I hope you enjoy it. Think about it. She had sex with one of the Time Bureau dudes. I mean, she also had, she also did it with Oliver. Yeah. Yeah. If you watch The Arrow, then you'll know that Oliver was cheating on... Oliver was cheating on... Uh, what's her name? Oliver was cheating on, well, the the real Black Canary, on her sister, the White Canary. <laughs> got her name though. Black Canary is fine though, like fine, fine. Which one, the new one or the old one? All right, we're gonna show you the pendant. Who do we show it to? Show it to this guy. Eddie. I need to ask you about the oh, maid. I'm gonna talk to Eddie anyway. About Elsa. You didn't know her. 
I know that you and her were... That is to say, I know you had feelings for her. What? That's poppycock! You're as deranged as your father was! David, really? You go too far with this behaviour. The police will be here soon. Would you not prefer to clear this up before they get here in case they link Eddie with the crime? Now look here, young lady. How dare you speak? That's enough. Eddie. There you go. Speak up. Um, dude, that's effed. Effing her sister. Jeez, that's cold. Yeah. I mean, Oliver was like... Oliver was... He was like a playboy back in the day before he became the Arrow. So, he did that kind of thing. He's not who he is now. He's definitely a better person now. Nova and Oni had to help me in the end with the final mission. I spent two hours just trying to find a full group after they jumped in with three mended. The final mission? I don't even remember which what that was. Um, but yeah, congrats, dude. Congrats on finishing the base story. What is this game? Uh, this game is called Black Mirror. It's just a new horror slash adventure game I felt like trying. It just came out like yesterday. So, uh, I don't know. I just felt like playing something new. OMG, but on the Zari episode, Nate, who was high, was hilarious. Dude, I love Nate when he's like crazy. It's, it's hilarious. I love Nate when he's crazy. He's hilarious. All right. Uh, do we bring up the pendant, the ripped clothing, or little doe? Let's bring up the pendant. You gave her this. It was your mother's. Yeah, I was right. Uh, I did. It was. Eddie! I was just trying to cheer her up. She has nothing, and I had no need of it. You know she sends... I'm rather close. I need to back up. You know she sent most of her money home to her grandmother. My, I'm really close to Eddie. I might want to back up a little bit. Is this like vampire? I've never. I don't know what vampire is. Let's talk about the ripped clothing. Her clothing was ripped, as if someone was trying to force themselves upon her. I would never have hurt her. <laughs> That's a lie. Uh, you probably accidentally hurt her. Stein tells Nate to say she's crazy, but he says I like broccoli. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Legends is easily the most hilarious out of all of the uh, all of the shows. All right, what about you saying little doe? My little doe. Strange thing to call the help. Uh, how? It was just, just harmless fun. That's all. You're a worthless liar. You think she thought being pressed against a dead animal was harmless fun? <sighs> How do you know? That's a little bit creepy. You can't it's really... It's true. Elsa and I... I would never have laid a finger on her. We were in love. I helped her with everything. Even with her chores. Uh, uh, Rose and... That's quite enough. Eddie, you are obviously upset. Can you back you off? Are not helping, David. Stop trying to defend da Angus, David. Will you please take I mean, Eddie. Master upstairs. As you say, ma'am. She's interrupting. I need to talk to Eddie alone. I think you have caused quite enough disruption. Disruption? We shall settle this heritage dilemma first thing tomorrow. I don't think so. I have more questions now than ever about my father, the maid, this whole damn house. Have a care, David. Need I remind you of your father's temper? I would never. Please. Given the current mental state of Master Eddie, who should be a part of the heritage considerations, any discussion on the topic would be futile at this point. Would you not agree? <sighs> yeah, let her. Let her know. Maybe it's a good thing you're here after all. Let her know. Impudent brats! There you go, let her know. What's going on? Did you notice when Margaret got angry? When Eddie mentioned... What was it? Chores involving a rose, what... What does that mean? Something about the garden, perhaps? We could ask Rory. 
Or is it about the attic? Oh, I wonder. Whatever it is, it's something she doesn't want us to know. The attic? I saw the maid coming down the stairs with a tray. But there's nothing up there but an empty room. Interesting. Okay. Uh, vampire is a new telltale game coming out in which you are a vampire doctor in which you can save or kill people. Okay, okay. Sounds interesting. Still can't get over Amaya. <laughs> I know, dude. I know. If Amaya dies, I will quit watching the show. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't carry the show, but yeah. I feel you, bro. Alright. Is there anything in here? I suppose we should probably go... Hang on, what's our objective? Find out more about the drowned woman in the vision. Find out why Alyssa was in the attic. Or oh, Elsa. Find out well why Elsa was in the attic. Mm. I suppose I should talk to... I should go t outside and talk to Rory, if Rory's outside. Let's go talk to Rory. I don't know, I found Nate who was high effing hilarious. White Canary told Jax to bring Nate to his room and get him water and a fidget spinner. Yeah, that was so good. <laughs> that was such a good line. Get him a fidget spinner. <laughs> uh, I loved it. Nate's hilarious when he's out of his mind. Alright, we're going outside. I gotta talk to, uh, Rory. We need to find out why Margaret got angry when we started talking about the Rose. Why she interrupted Eddie. Why she cut us off. Why she cut off our conversation. I need to figure out why and Rory might have those answers. I hate the time bureau, they are so annoying. What is it? God! <laughs> I'll get you back. <laughs> Stop monkeying around. Come with me. Come inside, Nippe. Don't go. This guy looks like a Nazi. It's not a request, girl. Girl. I'll be fine. That's uh, Grandfather Edward. I'm guessing that's. What's happening to me. Cl no, it's is not. Right? Who is that? We should make haste. That's not Clara, is it? And then the the boy is uh, my father, John John Gordon, I think. Especially Gary, she... Oh, Gary, <laughs> Gary, yeah. She cut you off because she felt you were boring. Yeah, probably. Alright, there's Rory. Gotta go talk to Rory. Nobody in this house is particularly chatty. Not even when I have an actual question for them. This game is way too weird for me. Why is that? So Rory doesn't want to talk to me. Alright, if we can't talk to Rory... Drowned woman in the vision. Well... I guess... Maybe... I don't know where to go. If Rory doesn't want to talk to me... I'm pretty sure we have to be outside, I just don't know. Well, this path might lead somewhere. Maybe go this way. Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, stunning. Oh, it's a lake. Maybe she drowned here? How curious. Come and look at this. Um, come in. Look, they form a clear circle. This can't be a fluke. Well, it looks like one of the stones is missing. Well, have you enough stone to weigh, weigh yourself, yourself down, down with? Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is. I, I can't remember who was the one waiting to start. Is it Clara or somebody else? Can't remember who it was. <laughs> Bang the doctor. I can't examine these things, dude. Something's carved into each one. Yeah, I see that. There's an X on that rock over there. There's one on that rock over there. What is this? I've never seen a rose like this before. Oh, it's a rose. I have. The gardener, Rory. He brought some down from the glass house. Oh, now we can probably talk to Rory about the rose. Okay. And probably bring it up to Rory now. Alright, let's go talk to Rory. Hey, what's that? Uh, more photos. Alright, we can probably talk to Rory now. Yeah, what's up, Rory? Creepy old man. Let's bring up the roses. That's an unusual looking rose. I noticed one lying by the side of the loch. Hi, that's a bin me. That's a bin me, a Mario. Mario, it's a real Mario. It's a me. I grew him for her. She loved the roses, did Cecilia. No, the red ones, though. Made her think of blood, you ken? You know. Me, the word is no. Would it be more fitting to place them on her grave? Why? She's no there, is she, laddie? That's not where she rests. And I don't much stand by your modern god. Rory, what happened to her? Oh, Cecilia. To Cecilia. I'm not in the mood to open old wounds, laddie. Uh, well, I mean, you can't bang the maid now, she said. That's true, that's true. But look at that timing, though. The maid died, and the doctor shows up. So, I mean, you know. We're always going to have a, uh, a backup plan, you know, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> Alright, let's talk about runes. There are some strange markings carved into the stones on the shore. Runes, I. I'm old-fashioned, I suppose. Still hold to the old ways. Superstitions don't gain validity just by being believed in for a long time. I'd watch that. Your precious science doesn't have all the answers, lassie. Uh, Cecilia's grave? May I have some of the roses, Rory? I'd like to place them on Cecilia's grave. What she to you? You didn't ken her. No, the word is no. But she's family. And besides, father always spoke fondly of her. He would even smile as he talked about playing in the gardens with her as a child. He did, did he? Aye, well, that's good to ken. No. I should have some left in the glass house. I'll speak to you later, Rory. I am sure you will, laddie. Alright, I need to go into the glass house. Let me in. Sorry, lassie, but you can't go in. It's for family only. Mm. Just hold on a moment. No, it's okay. I quite understand. You go ahead, and I'll wait here for you. If I must. Aye, you must. So insen insistent. Just wait till I own this place. Nobody can tell me what to do. I can do whatever I want. Every, all of my soon. No, it doesn't look like I have green fingers. Why do we care what color your fingers are? <sighs> all right, what's in here? Oh, what's that? These are dead as dodos. Hard to raise anything beautiful here. Ever since Cecilia's gone. Can you tell me about Cecilia? What was she like? 
She was a lovely lassie, but uh, she had more than her share of troubles. Grandfather Edward. You ken well enough, sir. No. You said she wasn't in her grave. Aye, that I did, that I did. Did she drown? She did. Killed herself. Her body was never found. Maybe we can find now, it. All I have of her is my memories. And they are not what they were. And Wait. This Did he have a relationship to Cecilia? Did Rory have a relationship to Cecilia? That's what it feels like. Are these I Cecilia's roses? They're beautiful. I like to think so. He might have a grudge against me. But they seem to be the only thing that grows here. Or my family at least. Because Grandfather Edward killed Cecilia, so he might be mad about that. Maybe he's trying to kill me. Looking to break some more locks, laddie. That is exquisite. Cecilia made this. She made it die. For me, For yeah. Me. Girl must have cut her fingers a hundred times doing it. On the thorns you can. Oh, we're in Ghostland. Okay, we're in Ghostland. What exactly are we looking for in Ghostland? Are you are you feeling this presence, old man? Just touching random stuff. Oh. Touching things from the past. You are unworthy of the name Gordon. Whoa, whoa. Get away from her, you coward. <laughs> Damn, what is he doing? To her arm. Oh, get away. Get away, get away, get away. What is that? Oh, get away, get away, get away. I don't know what's happening. Okay. Wait, there's something there. What is he doing? He scratched the word barren into her arm. What a monster. a monster. That is brutal. He is definitely a Nazi. Alright, we can interact with this thing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. The saccateurs Edward used. They ended up in this corner. The saccateurs, okay, he threw saccateurs over there. And you can I guess I gotta interact with the crack it made on the wall? When he threw it? Go throw it on the wall. There it is. Get lost! You monster! Who is that old woman? It takes courage to confront Edward like that. They lied to me. Who did? All of them. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right, I'm going a bit crazy. Don't kill the doctor. The maid's already dead. We need the doctor. I'm sorry, Leah. What just happened? I could ask you the same thing. You started to talk to yourself. And then you were throwing your arms about like you were fighting something. I couldn't see what. You started bawling and the lassie came in to see what was going on. She tried to settle you, but you just went for her. <clears throat> what about the old woman? I saw an old lady. She wore a long, flowing dress. Her, her voice was strong, determined. Sounds like Rosemary. She was Lady Margaret's mother. Oh, Lady Margaret's mother, okay. Was Cecilia not able to have children? Did that anger Grandfather Edward? Maybe you can see well enough too, son. Maybe you can. It wasn't her, it was her husband. He was the okay. Bar. Couldn't uh, <clears throat> you can? Wait, I think so. Yes. You're you're not the husband. I well, uh, Edward blamed Cecilia for it. 
for picking the wrong man for Never a Never mind. Bit. Never mind. You're not the husband. I don't think so. You'll be fine, laddie. You just need some fresh air. This place can get to you. I thought I thought Rory and Cecile had a thing. Cecilia, but doesn't seem that way. Okay, so I guess Okay, here we go. The Sakatours is here. The Sakatours should be There we go. Here they are. How could I know? This seems awfully accurate for a forgotten memory. And then the crack on the wall. The crack is right there. Yep. Edward was furious. Seems like him and great grandmother Rose didn't see eye to eye. Uh, is that it? Pretty sure that's it. He used the Sakatears to engrave something on Cecilia's arm. Pretty sure that was Cecilia. Trust your instincts, laddie. And then he threw the Sakatears, hit the wall, cracked the wall, and the Sakatears landed in the soil, I think. David, are you all right? Wow. Leah can actually talk to me. I'm, I'm alright. I should be asking you. Yeah, I should be asking you. I'm sorry. Am I alright? I should be asking you. Oh, I'm so sorry I hurt you. I don't know what happened. Don't worry. I faced much worse in the asylum. <sighs> it's tough. I don't think it's possible to face her. Sorry again. Probably helps Cri- don't leave me outside like a naughty puppy next time. Yes. Yeah, treat her like a human being. She knows what she's doing. You need some support, man. I feel like the madness that runs through this family, through these walls, is, is starting to seep into me too. I can help you, but you need to open up. You need to start talking to me. Uh, you would not believe me if I told you. Stubborn, just like your father. I think that Edward may be responsible for the death of my Aunt Cecilia. Not directly. She drowned herself in the loch. I think that Edward drove her to it. Old families usually have a skeleton or two in the cupboard. Yes, but my family has a graveyard full. Whatever secret this family is hiding, it's costing lives. Cecilia, the maid, my father. We have to put a stop to this. We need to find out what happened to the maid tonight. What is it, David? Oh, it's the boy. I have to see. That's not creepy at all. Just a boy, Wait. like, flicking his finger to come here. <clears throat> Follow me. And of course the crazy follows, of course. Yeah, that has to be <clears throat> that has to be my father. You have to start confiding in me, David. What are you seeing? Just tell her, man. She's trying to help you. Ghosts, memories. I'm pretty sure these are memories. I can see echoes, memories of those who lived here. I see my father as a young boy. He's trying to communicate with me. Perhaps you visited here as a child. Maybe you're remembering stories your father told you of this place when you were young. You see? I said you wouldn't believe me. Pendant, Secator's Defiance. What is the best way to convince her that I'm not crazy? Well, there's no way I could have known the pendant was in the blood. There's no way I could have known the secateurs. Well, the secateurs doesn't le really lead to anything. At least she doesn't know that. In defiance, I have no idea what that means. So we're just going to go with the pendant. If I'm only remembering things, how would I have known where to find the pendant? How could I have known he tried to force himself on her? Uh, unless you think I killed her. I don't think you killed anyone, David. And you're right. I can't explain it. So? So, we focus on the facts as we know them. Go on. You saw the maid's body. 
Her neck was broken. That was the work of a human, not a ghost, yes? I, I suppose so, yes. Lady Margaret knows more than she's saying, that's for sure. Godspeed getting anything out of that old hag. No, I know. But Eddie might be an easier option. Yes. Yes, we need to find him. And make sure Margaret isn't there to interrupt. I believe she's already gone to bed, but I'll check. You go find Eddie. Go find Eddie? I have no idea where he is, so we're just going to follow the boy. The boy would be... yeah, let's follow the boy. He went up this way. Oh, there we go. To the left down the hallway. Well, that's clear enough. You know, why do ghosts have to be, like, running around? Why can't they just, like, wait for me, you know? If they're trying to help me, then just stand still and take me with you. Don't just be running around. Now, that means I have to look for you. Oh, this is the attic, but I think we can go in the attic now. Yeah, here we go. Oh, there's Eddie. Well, hello, my dear Elsa. He's oh, crazy. Sir. You look very handsome today. Eddie? Why, thank you. You're as beautiful as ever, my little doll. Oh, mwah, mwah. Oh my god, he's crazy. He's got the face of a killer. Eddie, can you hear me? What can you tell me about Great Grandmother Rose? What did Elsa have to do? Daddy! That's not creepy at all. Self made dolls. Ugh. The stuff of nightmares. What do you see here, Eddie? You'll be quite safe, the little rabbit said to his brothers and sisters. The fox is fast asleep, so the rabbits tiptoed past, but the fox was sly. He wasn't asleep at all. He opened his eyes. I've warned you before to mind your place. This will be the last time you defy me. Okay. Okay. All right, Edward's a little bit too hardcore. He needs to calm down. The eyes of the fox stay shone with cruel light as he punched on the rabbits and ate them all one by one. It was only then he went to sleep, his tummy full, his heart content. Oh my god. All right, Eddie, please. Can you can you bring him to the asylum? He's he's obviously more crazy than me. I'm seeing things, but he is just on another level. Like, please, come on. Do something about him. Oh, hello. I wonder what's on the other side. Is there... Uh, no, can't see a switch or lever. I guess not all castles are like Edgar Allan Poe used to describe them. Okay, so what did we see? We saw an old lady, possibly Rosemary. Rosemary trying to escape the attic from Edgar. Edgar? Edward. From Edward Gordon. So if we can just find out... I'm guessing it's behind that. If we can just find out what is behind that, maybe we can find out about Rosemary. We can just find out how to get there. Ooh. Photos. Ah. A secret passage. Here we go. What do you think you're doing? That won't be long. I hope. Look after Eddie. Just a little further. I can already feel something about to jump out at me. Boo. Damn it. Get it off me.
That's it. Open wide. Good, good. I don't I want it. <coughs> That's all right, dear. Did I tell you that John's son David has arrived? He's as bothersome as his father. Not worthy of this place. Oh my god, that face. Poor Angus will never recover from the sight of John's charred remains. Selfish, selfish. That's his, her sister? Please. Rosemary, her sister? Don't. <laughs> I do not enjoy this, as you well know. But you brought it on yourself. Your son was a good man. You should not have defied him. Your son? Who's your son? Wait, that's... Oh, that's Edward's mom. Rosemary. Rosemary's Edward's what? mom. She's pelly skin and bones. How is she still alive? Some of the switch it was in the bookcase. You scared me half to death. Well, you will insist on wandering off without telling me where you're going, and I just managed to avoid Lady Margaret when... <laughs> Jesus God! Okay. I saw this. In a vision? Edward beat her with it. Used it to cripple the poor woman. Oh my God. And he hung it there to remind her every day. Take it down. Jesus. You're sure? Do it. Take it down. Thank you. Thank you. How are you even able to talk right now? She should be dead. Let's let's have a little chat, shall we? Rose. Rosemary. Can you hear me? Rose. Okay, you can't hear me. We need to. Oh, what's that? Break. Break what? Oh, the chains. Oh, using that? Okay. I don't know if that's such a good idea. It's really loud. Did I do the trick? Rosemary, I'm David. John's son. Your great-grandson. Here, try this. No, like this. Gently. Oh, God. Who did this to you? It was... I was bad. I disobeyed. Disobeyed? How did you disobey? Cecilia. I... I to stop him. Stop what he was doing. What was he doing, Rosemary? Should not have disappeared. <laughs> not disturb him in the old wing. Never talk back. Rose! Rose! What did he do to Cecilia? I don't think you'll get anything more out of her. Poor woman. Put her out of her misery. Come on, Lady Rosemary. We'll get you out of here. No! We can get you somewhere safe. I'm safe here in this room. Safe from the black mirror. Why is her mouth still opening like that? What the hell? Dude. The black mirror. Margaret has a lot to explain. <clears throat> Do we confront her about it? Is that such a good move? <sighs> mm, I think that's what we do. Conf we possibly confront. 
I mean, this is living proof right here. Barely living. But living proof about what's... About what's going on here. I think we need to have words with her ladyship. Margaret, we need to talk about... Lady Margaret, if you please. Never mind that. What the hell are you doing with Rosemary? You're one to talk. You're just like your father, leaving nothing but fear and misery in your wake. What in God's name are you talking about? You spoke to young Eddie, did you not? Now he's convinced everyone is trying to kill him. He has taken poor Andrew hostage and is threatening his life. Oh, God. Where is he? He's taken him to the old wing, and he is armed. I'll go. I can talk to him. You will not. You two have caused quite enough trouble already. We? How dare you, when you continue to worship Edward, even though he drove poor Cecilia to drown herself? I will not allow you to... To what? To speak the truth? To say that Edward... He never touched her! You come here. And you... No, you. You are the one in the wrong here. You know more than you're saying, and we both know it. There's something in this place. An evil that has plagued our family for generations. Instead of blaming others, maybe you should look closer to home for the cause of your misfortune. You know nothing. What I did, what I do, everything, everything is for this family. How can you possibly understand? Please, my lady, we can discuss this later. Miss Farber, you need to speak to Master Eddie. Take us to him. For the family, huh? That's a typical response. For the family. Uh, have a care in the old wing. It is oh. used, and for good reason. A section of wall fell into the sea some years back, and the rest is falling to ruin. Okay, we can actually go through this door now. Okay.